the class B of the last uh, uh, video is here. It's not really a class B, it's a push-pull pair where we can change the bias through class B, class AB and class A operation. You're gonna do that in, in a moment. And here is the CMOS amplifier uh, and the, the inverter gates. Uh, this is a 748C74 uh, inverter gate that we are using as a CMOS linear amplifier to amplify the input signal and as the driving gates to generate the fast clean edge to the, the push-pull pair that's here. So guys, this is the output signal of the push-pull pair when it's operating in class B mode. So we can see that the transition is not so good. And this is happening because we have that, that region we saw on the last video where the input signal will not excite the push-pull pair because we will be below the VB drop of the transistors. So we can really see, we can see this very clearly here on the scope. When the input signal transition uh, from low to high, first we get the PNP transistor turning off, so the output signal starts to rise. We enter the region where none of the transistors are doing work. So here, this region here that has 10 nanoseconds, 10 nanoseconds here, is where no transistor are in active region because the PNP is turning, is turned off here. It becomes, it enters cutoff region from here to here. Here, none of the transistors are in linear region. And after the input signal goes to a, a, a level abo above a VB drop of the NPN transistor, the, the NPN starts to conduct and starts to pull up the output signal. So we have this kind of transition here. We can increase the bias to solve this problem. So let's try to, to take the push-pull pair and go to class AB. Now we are on class B. Let's go to class AB of operation. Let's see here. We are, are entering class AB. You can see. Now we are on class AB operation. So we have uh, um, in the crossing of zero, the two transistors are in active region. This can, uh, uh, can give us some problems here because we have one transistor in linear region, in active region. Here in the middle, we have the two transistors. And after the PNP turn off, we have only the NPN in active region here. So we have one, one active device, two active devices here in, in the middle, and after one active device again. So we can have a, a gain discontinuity here because we have two active devices, one pushing in and the other pulling in the same time here on the middle, and you can get uh, um, a different kind of crossover, dis crossover distortion that also impacts THD performance. If we, we continue to increase the bias, we're gonna go to class A operation where the two transistors are always turned on. And here we have class A operation. In class A operation, we have the faster transition from low to high. Here we have uh, 90 second, 90 nanosecond transition between low to high. We can see that it's a very linear uh, transition, yeah? And the output voltage also increases because we have the drop on class B. We have, here we have the drop of VBE on the two sides. And in class, here in class B, a, B, we do not have the, the drop. The drop is compensated by the biasing network. We are using a 
two volt peak to peak uh, signal here we, we can increase it to let's see a four volt peak peak and I think we're gonna have a much more much faster transition here now we are on let's see 3.3 nanoseconds of rise time and we can change the bias of operation to get it right when i i i put the screwdriver that's metallic here i am grounding the the trim pod here so we get that noise but we can change here and we can see a very interesting effect here on class B operation we have the discontinuity of gain here we can see the discontinuity and if we increase here here we are entering the class A operation I'm seeing the class of operation by the, the biasing current we saw this on the last video what is the, the conditions for class A and class B and now we have a very clean edge we are on class A, B and almost class A here we have class A operation I'm, see, I'm seeing from the, the biasing of the transistors so very interesting the effect on the um, on the rising edge of a very fast signal and oh, one very interesting thing we can see here is the famous uh, aspect that the NPN transistors tend to be more stable than the PNP and you can see here when we use the, the NPN transistor to pull up the signal we have uh, much less ringing here than if we trigger on the failing edge the PNP transistor is struggling much more to to take the signal uh, uh, to 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 make the signal stable so it's very interesting the effect here you can see the two edges and you can clearly see how the um, the positive edge the rising edge is much more stable than the negative edge and this is a famous effect of PNP uh, of, pu of push-pull pairs that the PNP transistor has more problems to, to, to pull down the signal than the NPN transistor. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up on the video so it helped me to grow the channel. And in the next video, you're gonna take a look on the CMOS linear amplifier we use it in this video. It's a very interesting topic that I think we, you, you're gonna like. So, see you in the next video.